Hello, first graders. Uh, we are back here with our math. Okay, so we have been talking about different shapes. And last time we talked about flat and curved surfaces. Yeah. And so today, let's start talking about spheres. Everyone, let's say together spheres. Spheres. Yes. Uh, what do spheres look like? right over here so it looks like a ball yeah it looks like it could bounce right bounce 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 um basketball or soccer ball bowling balls um baseballs they are all in a shape of sphere yeah um right so let's start um talking about these questions together so we will have to circle each object that has the same attributes as the figure same attributes meaning same figures yeah same um, same things as this figure so uh, which one of these objects look like sphere does this look like a sphere no it definitely has curved surfaces um, but it also has flat surface right as you can see in the picture here spheres they do not have flat surfaces at all only curved surfaces only yes moving on yes this has um this only has curved surfaces so go ahead and circle um and what about here football or rugby ball um yeah almost almost look like a sphere but not completely yeah it's more of an oval shape and over here it's not completely curved um surfaces right right so we'll skip this one what about this one over here a bowling ball yes it is completely um curved surfaces so it's a sphere and this one as well yes it looks like it's a sphere and soccer ball too yes it is and this one not at all right it only has flat surfaces it's a box and moving on to number two circle to complete the sentence spheres will or will not roll look at this first graders will spheres spheres roll yes definitely they will roll um right so if we were to um and that's why um uh, <clears throat> if you think about soccer game or bowling game um if you kick or throw the ball it rolls right that's because it only has curved surfaces so will roll number three spheres will or will not stack stack um so stack them up it means you put one thing on top of another thing so do you think you can put bowling ball on top of soccer ball like this and will they stay that way no not really because they're all curved surfaces right it's it's unstable to uh, be stacked up so spheres will not stack will not stack spheres will only roll and number four let's put an x on the object that does not belong okay will roll it means um the shape of sphere yeah shape of spheres what will roll baseball yes anything else um yeah the canned tuna well we have curved surfaces so it will roll yeah if you put it on this uh, um like put it up and this cone over here we have curved surfaces so it will roll and so one thing that does not belong at all is this one so put an x mark and number five will not roll okay so this one will not roll at all this one won't roll at all because they only have flat surfaces but this candy over here it has flat and curved surfaces so it will roll so this one does not belong here so x over here 
Number six, let's circle the figure that will both roll and stack. Mm. So for a figure to both roll and stack, you guys, then we must have curved both curved surfaces and flat surfaces for the figure to stack and roll. Yeah, this one sphere. Yes, it can roll, but it cannot stack. And this one over here, cube, it can stack, but it cannot roll because it does not have curved surfaces. And cylinder over here, it can roll because it has um, curved surfaces and it can also stack because of the flat surfaces. Mm, so this one can roll and stack. What about this one over here? This one does not have curved surfaces, so it cannot roll, but it can stack. Yeah. So only the cylinder can both roll and stack because it has both curved and flat surfaces. Does that make sense? Okay. So for a figure to roll and stack both, then you will have to have curved and flat surfaces both. All right, moving on to number one on the next page. Let's circle each object that has the same attributes as the figure. Okay, so again, we'll have to look for an object that is in the shape of sphere. Okay, so that means no flat surfaces at all, only curved surfaces. Okay, this one is more like cylinder shape. Yeah, so nope. Yes, um, the yarn has curved surfaces only. So go ahead and circle. Beach ball, yes, only curved surfaces. Go ahead and circle. And um, the basketball, only curved surfaces. So go ahead and circle. What about the mug? Nope, it has curved surfaces, but also flat surfaces. So it's not a sphere. And the canned tomatoes, both curved and flat surfaces, so not a sphere. And so we have a globe over here. And without these things that makes it stand, let's just take a look at the globe itself. This is completely in a shape of sphere, only curved shape, right? So let's go ahead and circle. Yes. And number two, copy the word that completes the sentence. Okay, we have two words over here, roll, stack. Yeah, number two, all spheres will roll or stack. Yes, roll, all spheres will roll. What are the shapes um, that can roll and stack? Yes, cylinder, shape that looks like this, curved and flat. Yeah, an object that has both curved and flat um, surfaces that will roll and stack both. But for spheres, they will only roll. Go ahead and write roll over here. These are just reviewing questions. Um, right, it um, should be fairly easy for you guys to solve. Number three, seven plus zero, seven. 6 plus 1, 7. 5 plus 3, 8. 2 plus 7, 9. Um, so you guys should work from the 1s and then 10s, right? 1 plus 0, 1. 4 plus 2, 6. 0 plus 0 equals to 0. 5 plus 2 equals to 7. 6 plus 3 equals to 9. 1 plus 4 equals to 5. Okay, so they were just really quick review questions. Okay, first graders, so we talked about spheres today. And um, tomorrow in math class, we'll be talking about cubes and rectangular prisms. Yeah, you don't have to know what that is right now. We'll talk about that tomorrow. And so Miss Jin will be back with um, the next lesson tomorrow. And have a great day, first graders. I'll see you tomorrow.